I want to apologize to all the fan supporters of Liverpool Football Club for the disruption I caused over the past 48 hours. It goes without saying, but should be said, that the project put forward was never going to stand without the support of the fans. No one ever thought differently in England. Over these 48 hours, you were very clear that it would not stand. We heard you. I heard you. And I want to apologize to Jurgen, to Billy, to the players, and to everyone who worked so hard at LFC to make our fans proud. They have absolutely no responsibility for this disruption. They were the most disrupted, and unfairly so. This is what hurts most. They love your club and work to make you proud every single day. I know the entire LFC team has the expertise, leadership, and passion necessary to rebuild trust and help us move forward. More than a decade ago, we, when we signed up for the challenges associated with football, we dreamed of what you dreamed of, and, and we've worked hard to improve your club. Our work isn't done, and I hope you'll understand that even when we make mistakes, we're trying to work in your club's best interests. In this endeavor, I've let you down. Again, I'm sorry, and I alone am responsible for the unnecessary negativity brought forward over the past couple of days. It's something I won't forget and shows the power that fans have today and will rightly continue to have. If there's one thing this horrible pandemic has clearly shown, it's how crucial fans are to our sport and to every sport. It's shown in every empty stadium. It's been an incredibly tough year for all of us, virtually no one unaffected. It's important that the Liverpool football family remain intact, vital, and committed to what we've seen from you globally with local gestures of kindness and support. I can promise you I will do whatever I can to further that. Thanks for listening.